Oh, right. We're going to get ourselves started on our classes today. Uh, yeah. The <laughs> Before I start doing that, I have to do a little adjustment on to for our synthesizing. Now that I got her, yeah, we'll get her making amber soups. And we'll have you start making some black steel now, Flay. And you definitely want to make amber soups. When I told you about the attack fruit being used, since it's rare, you definitely want people to make amber soups. That way you don't use another attack fruit because you're going to be using that to boost your character's attributes. This is a good, this is one of those times you definitely want to start doing that. Always have someone Hello. making it. What can I help you with? These are the courses you can currently And of course, see. don't worry, Would later on people, I will course? be asking you to which course I should take, but that's going to be a little later on. Your on time. So for right now, we're just going to have to go to these. Now, mineralogy is one of those ones that you're most likely to make your first bean. Because you will not know where all the stuff is, or will not be able to get to it on time. Of course, to subsequential other ones, you'll be able to make A, and you have to actually know exactly how to get there quick enough to get everything. Yeah, you, you get some, you get a little leeway, but oh yeah, as you can see, I don't control when to actually push the button at this point. And of course, mineralogy is, as he said, we're going to be another way of, it's another way of gathering minerals. I mean, gathering materials. It's pretty much gathered the same way as everything else. Push X on the icon. I don't know why we always need a tutorial on it, but I guess they didn't think we can remember push X or press confirm. So now we get to take ourselves to the Mono Ruins. And we've already made our stuff that we're gonna make. We we'll get ourselves down to here and get our class started. Oh uh, yeah, might as well bring him along. Hey, the workshop that works together stays together. Yeah, screw the rules, she's undead. Better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. Oh, wait. Wait, that's not scary at all. Yes, I remember about formations. It was only like, what, 10 minutes ago? Pretty much chain attacks are hit subsequent, uh, subsequent uh, hit in order. I mean, it's just hitting in a row. It's hitting you know, in a row, that's it. Um, as you can see, our support row is shown right beside the main main car, well, the main queue. Uh, you use the L and R buttons to switch between who you want to use. And when you want to switch to them, push X. Uh, as you can see, they're grayed out until you can recharge them. Think of them as kind of the assist in... Oh, as you can see, sometimes we get... I mean, think of them as the assist in Marvel vs. Capcom. It's pretty much you have to wait until they charge up to use them again. Don't worry, you'll be able to make it so they... Get some, you'll be able to get stuff on your growbook to make it faster and to get new things that happen when you switch in certain people for attacks or defenses. As you can see, that was a defensive change. You use it to save people. And the curse status, that makes it so you can't heal. This is really annoying because 
one particular enemy is able to put poison and curse on you at the same time, so you can't heal any damage that is dealt by poison. But we have plenty of items to remove that stuff because, well, there's just a dime a dozen in this game. So any status elements aren't really a problem except in battle at the time. And you can, there's a spell you can get to get rid of that too, so. And this is the thing, it's a time limit, 6 p.m., which is roughly about 10 hours or 10 minutes in this case. Well, 10 or so minutes. Well, I mean, not 10 minutes, 6 minutes, sorry. Since you always start at noon. No, we know how to push X on the icon. Now, I'll be able to show you exactly how to get to this one. This took me a good number of tries to actually get this right. And to still get everything too. Well, as much as I can. Don't worry about getting the barrels. We can just get this stuff later. Um, we can get this treasure chest over here first. 600 coal. Yay. <laughs> that will start pissing you off later on when you start getting a thousand coal, even though you're way beyond that. Now, let's see. Get this treasure chest first. Now we can make the gearbox. Have a recipe. Now, this item right here will always be a soul darkness. And you always want to jump off from that block that's cracked. That way you can just get there real quickly. Now, you first want to go down here to get to the first set of minerals to get the, the mine out. And the cool thing is you just have to be in the vicinity. You don't have to be directly in front of it. So it saves you a tiny bit of time. And now here's a way to save a little time here. Jump across here. That way you don't have to deal with enemies. Of course if you fall off it's not that big of a penalty. It's just you have to climb up more steps. Now with here. Get a Get our next one, and there's nothing down there to get, so that's a good thing, because that would just be very annoying, but there's nothing down there. Now our next one, you want to take an immediate left here. Now this is the trickiest one to get through. As you can see, it's right over there, but you can't just jump over there. You have to, okay, you definitely want to come back here to that garden a little later when we start doing our side missions. And you see you got attack fruit and you want to jump over him to get to this area right here. See the little sneaky there. And then break that to come around here. And you'll be able to get to it. And we gotta wait, okay. Oh, almost got in there. And we'll gain this. Alright, make the pyre blade. Definitely want to make that for a flay for his grow book. And you want to get this item right here, because that's a magic attack up. And we've already got our second one. Now the third one is a kind of far. And this is usually the one that people usually end up missing. If they don't miss the other ones from trying to figure out how to get to there. And we'll jump up here to get this. That's a weapon for Vayne. As you can see, it's a nice little annoying area right here. Now this one has a tendency of jumping around at you. Now don't worry about that chest, that's just coal. And we can come back, it's like 700 coal, so you don't have to care about that. And we're going to be coming back here anyway. Your priority is just to get the mineral, uh, get the mine areas. I uh, get that real quick, you don't have to worry about that. I think that's always a soul of darkness, but I could be wrong about that particular one. And that one does not regenerate hit, hit points, as you can see. Now if we go across here, of course, avoid these enemies here. Now, there's one that usually pops up right at that spot, which is usually a Grand Gear. That one will always be a Grand Gear if it's one there. And you definitely want to get a Little Gear, Grand Gear, and a Regular Gear for a couple. And this one's a little confusing, but as you can see, just do exactly what I'm doing, and you should be able to get around this. Now you gotta jump over him, and then, as you can see, if we did not jump over him, we would end up in a dead end and have to walk all the way back. And of course I accidentally uh, <laughs> jumped into the enemy, trying to, try to be fancy there. 
Now the last one is back this way. You just take a little immediate right. And then we gotta cut this grass, get around that. Now I was trying to jump off of that, but I decided not to waste my time on it. Because now we gotta go here and hug this wall. And here's the last one. If you get all three of them, you get an A. Now pretty much what happens after this, we'll definitely be trying to get some more items, well, more recipes. Now I was thinking about, should I go now? But then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait. Now this is a little waste of time right here, because I thought there was something over here, like an item or something. Yeah. But it's not too bad, I didn't waste too bad of a time. As you see, nine hours have already passed. And the creatures will start getting a little relentless. Gotta get around these guys real quick. And the Soul of Darkness, which I already had a lot of already. Eh, didn't waste too much time. Now, we go across here. We're gonna get these items here real quick. Well, these recipes, really. Real quick. We still got some time before it's over. Now, I could have saved some time by just going off on the arch instead of doing that. That's another thing you gotta want. Well, this one is only, this is the hardest one of those time things. So don't think it's gonna be, don't think it, they don't get much harder than this. And of course, before we get that one, and we grab plate mail. This item real quick, might as well. And get this one. Now we got definitely, you definitely wanna get that particular recipe because it's gonna be very useful for a lot of other things you make throughout the game. Don't worry, it's not like it's a one-time deal or anything like that. And we've completed our assignment. And of course, if you did what I just did, you will make an A. If you got two of them, you'll make a B. If you got one of them, you get a C. And if of course you didn't get any of them, you would fail. And when you do this, here's your report for the scheduling. It'll tell you the stuff that you get. You definitely want to do it for Nikki because you definitely want to get a lot of Cobalt thoughts. And we'll be using those throughout the game. So, next class coming right up.